Okay guys, I'm very excited to show you this mixed reef setup that's 120 gallon and it just was an upgrade from a 70 gallon bow front that we had and this tank was bought from Craigslist from a guy that let it get all wet and the stand was wrecked. So I built a new stand and painted it and got some cool doors for it that are inset and the hinges let you close it and it's just automatic closing which are really cool looking and the setup includes the trigger systems crystal 36 sump and the controls here and i got a timer that has built-in four outlets in the power strip there's um, two pumps running. One's from the old tank, one's from the new tank. I just wanted more flow and I wanted it to adjust and I wanted to have a backup pump. So I got my two controllers for the two pumps and there's the skimmer controller it's set on 11 watts now. And then I've got the ATO with the, the Tom pump there. ATO adds probably a gallon a day of water. It's a new setup, so I guess it's gonna be about three to four days. I've already had it running and had to fill that five gallon up once already and it's already halfway down. The return, I had this tank. It had one bulkhead drilled in it in the corner with that bulkhead corner system already. So I dealt with that by putting in two one inch returns to one and a half inch pipe to the bulkhead and there's a union so I can take it out. I didn't have a lot of height. First I thought I wanted to put some valves on it but I decided not to and just had it go right in. Get it into the two filter socks. It's kind of bubbly, noisy. There's my heater. I had a backup heater too, but took it out for now. And the sump um, has this refugium section that we're probably gonna put some more stuff in. It just has these bio balls that I had some bacteria on them from the last tank and wanted to help it establish. So I have those floating in there for now. You can see they have some stuff on them. So. It's already getting pretty set up, it's starting to smell like a fish tank. And the tank's got, there's a devil fish, that red one, he's a biter. Then we've got queen fish, trigger fish, yellow tang, uh, that's tron fish. And then uh, dory, of course. And uh, eel bop's sitting right in there. And he's about a two foot long eel. And he loves to eat shrimp or krill. There's one other small tiny fish here. Got some green grass growing, anemone, uh, that uh, leather coral isn't doing so well right now, I'm not sure why. Uh, it's a bubble tip anemone here, tree trunks. And we haven't fully set up the rocks, so it's just kind of thrown in there. So we had to transfer everything pretty quick. Once it's sitting there a while, we're gonna set up some rocks gape. And here's the lighting system up here. I've got two of these Mars Aqua, um, 300 watt. And I have them set at about uh, 40 and 60 for the lighting. It's kind of silly. They have two plugs for one light. So that's why I had to get the four outlet timer light uh, power strip. Here's my stand pipes. I got two um, P-trap bends that I've used. I drill a hole in them so they're not constantly sucking and making a lot of noise. So the two stand pipes go into the one Y bend and into the single bulkhead that was drilled for this tank. 
I probably wouldn't have set it up this way, but this is how the tank came. I would have had it in the middle with the three outlets. So that's the whole tank, guys. Hope you liked this video. And I do have two of these. Uh, and here's the view from the end. There's, you can see the two returns. And uh, that's the tank. So that's how it's set up right now. I'll probably do some more changes to it, of course. Uh, this is just the new setup right now. Let me know what you think.